Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. The problem that you've seen is the same problem when we discuss the permutation, especially the linear permutation. With this problem, our answer is 24. Paano kung i-change natin yung row, this one, to circular forms? What will happen? This video presentation is about circular permutations. And let's start knowing about this and going back with the problem a while ago. Okay, as I have mentioned kanina, paano kung i-change natin ang arrangement na kanina ay in a row, gawin natin ganito yung problem. So we are go about to arrange in a round table. So we will consider that so if the arrangement of objects are taken in a circular order then yan yung tinatawag na circular permutation so consider this example sabi ko nga this example how many different ways can four people be arranged in a round table so let us call the four people as represented by blue yellow, red, and white. So, ang tanong, magiging same pa rin ba nung uh, magiging sagot? Ganito pa rin ba? Magiging 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 since 4 people pa rin yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, let's start. Let us consider that this will be our round table. So, ito yung mga chairs. Yan ang representation ng chairs natin. So, kunyari, we choose si blue. Si blue one muna ang ating piliin. Kunyari, si blue ay naupo doon. So, let us just consider that doon siya naupo. We will notice that there will be one person that will be seated in front of that blue. There will be one person sa kanyang right at sa kanyang left. Okay, so that's how we analyzed it. Okay, kunyari, nilipat natin. Doon siya naupo sa upang yon. So, you will notice, it's the same explanation with this. So, there will be person na pwedeng maupo sa kanyang front, pwedeng mayroon sa kanan niya, at mayroon sa kanyang kaliwa. Same manner, kapag dito siya uupo. So, mayroon uli sa kanyang front, mayroon sa kanyang kanan, mayroon sa kanyang kaliwa, and lastly, kung dito siya uupo, mayroon pa rin sa kanyang front, sa kanyang right at sa kanyang left. So, you will notice that the explanation is the same. Ibig sabihin kahit siya, siya maupo, isa lang yung way na yon. Kasi may uupo sa kanyang harap, may sa kanan, at mayroon sa kanyang kaliwa. Therefore, the first person will be having one choice. So, kahit saan siya maupo, that will be considered one choice. Kasi nga, same lang ang magiging manner, there will be one person in front, sa left niya, at sa kanyang kanan. How about yellow? So, kung si yellow yung naupo doon, so let us try to analyze it. So, may nakaupo sa kanyang harap, at may uupo sa kanyang kanan, at sa kanyang kaliwa. Okay. How about kung dito siya naupo? So, mapapansin mo, Walang nakaupo sa kanyang front pero may uupo pa. May pwedeng maupo. Walang nakaupo sa kanyang kanan pero may nakaupo na sa kanyang kaliwa. So, magkaiba kung dito siya naupo, magkaiba kung dito siya uupo. Okay? So, let's have the next. Okay, paano kung doon maupo si yellow? So, wala pa rin nakaupo sa kanyang front pero sa kanan niya mayroon, sa kaliwa niya may wala pa rin nakaupo. So, that means to say, different ways, kung dito siya maupo, kung dito siya maupo, doon siya maupo. Therefore, 
Ang second person ay may tatlong choices. Okay? So, let's have the third person. Third person ay red. Kung naupo si red dito. So, may nakaupo na sa kanyang harap. May nakaupo na sa kaliwa. Pero walang nakaupo sa kanyang kanan. At kapag naupo siya dito, may nakaupo na sa kanyang kanan, may nakaupo sa kanyang harapan, at walang nakaupo sa kaliwa. Kaya magkaiba uli ng ways. So, ibig sabihin si third person ay may dalawang choices. At syempre, ang last person or si white ay mayroon na lang isang choice. Kasi dito na siya upo at wala na siyang ibang choice. So, mapapansin nyo, dito ang choices ay 4, 3, 2, 1. Dito, 1, 3, 2, and 1. Hence, ang magiging uh, explanation niya ay magiging 3 times 2 times 1 kasi parehas na rin naman yung 1. Kaya 3 times 2 times 1. Kung ang 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 ay nai-represent natin ng 4 factorial. Hence, ang 3 times 2 times 1 ay i-represent na 3 factorial. At ito ay galing sa n factorial. Ngayon, ito saan galing? Kasi we're talking of the same people. Apat, apat. Kung dito yung n, yung apat na people, so dito yun pa rin. Pero dahil naging 3 sa huli, siya ay n minus 1. So yung 4 per people... Minus 1, kaya naging 3. Kasi 4 minus 1, 3 factorial. So, yun ngayon ang permutation kapag circular o nakaround ang kanyang pamamaraan. So, ayun, nasundan natin. So, yan yung ating magiging formula in, any, in that case. So, let's start. So, circular arrangement, as I have mentioned, are permutation in which Objects are arranged in a circular manner or circle. So, there are two cases of circular permutation. Yan na yung unang case na na-explain natin kanina. If the clockwise and the counterclockwise arrangement of N are distinct around the circle, then the number of arrangement is represented by P is equal to N minus 1 factorial. Or the quantity N minus 1 factorial. The other way around, Ito naman yung gagamitin natin. The permutation is equal to quantity n minus 1 factorial all over 2. So, in any case, ito naman yon. So, ito yung dalawang special case kapag isosolve natin ang circular permutation. And let's start knowing about that one at a time. So, kanina na-explain na natin si A kung paano gamitin. Let's have another example. How many different ways can 5 students be seated in a round Table. So, halos kaparehas ito ng introductory example natin. Uupo yung estudyante, limang estudyante sa round table. So, four people lang yung kanina, pero the same manner. Ang gagamitin pa rin natin na yung kanina. So, ayan. Kunyari, dyan sila na upo. So, let's try to know ano ang given. Five, ang n natin. So, using the same formula, kasi nga, uh, it's the same with our introductory example. Then, may value ng n, isa substitute natin, 5 minus 1. Then, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, magiging 4 factorial. And the meaning of 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the answer is 24. So, ibig sabihin, there will be 24 ways. Okay? So, let's have another one. How about this one? In how many ways can 8 people join hands to form a circle. Almost the same pa rin ito ng example kanina. So, hence, so, ayan yan. 2, 4, 6. Tingnan natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, uh, joining hand naman ito, ha? Okay. So, joining hand. So, let's have this one given. So, n is 8. So, using the same formula, 8 minus 1, sinabstitute sa n. So, 8 minus 1 is 7 factorial. And 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, there will be 5,040 ways that 8 people can join hand to form circle. Okay? So, let's have this example. So, how about if we are going to work on with this example? In how many ways can 10 different colored beads be arranged on a bracelet? Okay, this time, this is a special circular permutation. So, observe this one. 
So, yan yung ating bracelet. So, kung mapapansin nyo, if you have that bracelet, kunyari, inalis natin sa kamay. Tapos, yan, inikot natin. Kung mapapansin mo, inikot natin siya. So, ito yung nadon, yun yung naroon. Pero, kung mapapansin nyo, halos same pa rin yung pagkakaayos ng mga uh, beads na nakalagay dyan. Therefore, we will be using another way to determine our answer with that. So, ito naman yung gagamitin nating formula. Given n is equal to 10, so we'll be using this formula because this is a special case of uh, permutation. Again, litin ko, kahit na i-turn natin kanina, inikot natin, uh, we form the same bracelet. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Hence, by substitution, so isa substitute natin, so ang n natin ay 10, kaya 10 minus 1, that will be 9 factorial over 2. So, ibig sabihin na 9 factor, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over 2. At ibig sabihin yan, kapag kinuha natin ang sagot nito, at dinivide sa 2, the answer is 181,440 ways. Okay? That's all. Kamato class. God bless us.